And one of the things that I know, like, became really clear for me this year is that I always sort of felt like I didn't fit. I always felt like I didn't fit within, you know, the corporate world and I didn't fit within certain friendship circles and I didn't fit into this kind of, I guess, um, vision of wealth, like, you know, uh, starting to earn money and then feeling like, well, I don't fit. And I realized quite recently that I don't fit because I was born on this world to create a new one, right? And there are so many of us like that, light workers, those people, you know, who are born with a purpose and pushing it to one side is, it's, it's heartbreaking for me. It's like to know that that impact is so within reach with just a few simple steps and a really big leap of faith into ourself because ultimately it is ourself that holds us back, right? It's always us. Everything is within us and everything blo blo that blocks us is within us. And so what, um, when it comes to, you know, really taking that action, that action has to be now. We can't push it to Sunday aisle because legacy is not something that we leave behind. Ultimately, it's something that we go through life creating. You today in the actions that you choose to take are creating your legacy because it is creating the relationships that are going to carry your mission and your purpose forward after you've gone. It is creating the mission and the message that people will understand long after you've gone. Legacy isn't something we leave behind and that that creates this urgency, right? So if you've been stirred in through what's gone on the last couple of weeks, if it's stirred something within you that makes you feel like there's more for you, then you have to listen to that. And you have to bring like someday to now. The power is now. The power is within you. And so for me personally, this really, really was to do with my soul goal around the rainforests. You know, really feeling like my goal to replant 100,000 trees into the Atlantic rainforest, it was, it was a someday goal, right? It was when that book was published and that wasn't enough. And that started all of this, that started that real focus on how do I bring that into my now and more, more than anything, what's blocking me doing that? And ultimately it was belief. And I believe it all, anything to do with blocking action comes down to belief that somewhere deep within us, we don't believe that it's possible for us. We don't believe that we're capable or we're holding on to a limiting belief of not being good enough. And, you know, we can't go anywhere. We can't move forward without releasing that belief, without changing that belief. And it's where I see people struggling the most is having strategies, having the most amazing strategies, but not being able to act activate them, not being able to take full all in action on them because of their own beliefs, right? Which comes to us doing that shadow work. But the biggest thing that we can do is change our perception because, and that's the fastest thing we can do. And that's the, that's a, that's what my book is about. The fact that perception can change, a change in perception can change our world in an instant. And it's what we do when we go through the healing method that I use, which is the E4 trauma method is we actually go back to that time where you created the belief and we use perception in the moment to change that belief so that the feeling's taken away so that in the now when you feel something it doesn't block you because the feeling's not anchored in the past anymore you've changed your perception you understand something different you've created a new powerful belief that empowers you um and so we really have to get to the core of those limiting beliefs and what's blocking you for that action to happen for that belief to be there the belief fires up that vision if you've got that vision and it's not firing you up then there's a belief issue right because if you see that impact that you want to make you know what it looks like you see yourself creating it then you know really should be already doing that and bringing that into your every day and if you're not then then belief is playing a part somewhere I think what's been really powerful just for me starting three new clients off in one week in the last week it is it is it's been mind blowing to see how quickly you can shift a belief and how quick, how quickly I can work with somebody to identify their truth because out of all three activation sessions the feedback has been 
hey David, that the um, the biggest breakthrough in the hour call has been getting to the bottom of the truth. The truth of what they really want, the truth of the impact they really want to make. And from there, I can then help them to create from that place. I'm always looking to help people to create from a place of joy, a place of impact, and a, a, a place of their core value. Like what is the principle that dri is the driving force of their life? Is it growth? Is it impact? Is it love? So identifying that, and, and we can move through that really, really quickly. And so if you're, if you're there and you're feeling like you are disempowered and you've, you've kind of started to feel that calling, you can feel that discomfort, like how does it show up? How does it show up that you're, you're living a lie, basically, that you're pushing that impact to Sunday aisle? It shows up as anxiety. It shows up as discomfort. It shows up as being in the wrong job, the wrong, the wrong um, relationship, the wrong environments. It shows up as unhappiness and it shows up as unfulfillment. And so often it shows up as being broke, you know, because then the universe is trying to give us a nudge that she's trying to let us know that we are out of alignment and give us that nudge to try and get us to listen to those pains, to listen to those discomforts and make the changes that bring us closer to our truth. We have to identify what that truth is, right? So, um, what, what was I going to finish on? Oh, some powerful questions. I'm going to finish on some powerful questions to help you right now to start taking action, to start feeling more in alignment with the impact that you truly want to make and to help you identify it as well. So you're going to ask yourself, you're going to write yourself a list and ask yourself um, what all the things are that you think will make you feel fulfilled in that impact, fulfilled in that purpose. And you're gonna do this as follows. You, the first list is gonna think you're gonna list about what you thought would make you, you feel purposeful. You know, think back, think back to when you were a kid. Like for me, it was being, hey Joseph, um, it was being eight years old and it was receiving this photo from my cousin who was in the Congo and it was of the silverback gorillas and I thought right there, I'm going to save that, that national park. You know, that's going to make me feel like I'm creating the impact that I want to make in this world. I've never done that, you know, so write those things down, really feel into the things that you thought in a moment would make you feel fulfilled, that you never fully accomplished or you started with them, but that feeling of fulfillment, purpose, impact was short lived. That's that's number one. Number two, you're going to um, write down, list out the dreams and the things you still would like to accomplish, like feel into, OK, I've got the rest of my life. I don't know how long I've got, but if I'm going to do something, if I'm going to do a few things before I die from a place of purpose, these are what they are. These are the things that I want to do. So that's your second list. And then the third list is you're going to list all of the obstacles that you see that are stopping you from actually doing those things. And like the kind of things where you're waiting for X to get Z or a feeling that comes up or a pattern that you get into or a negative thought pattern, anything that is an obstacle. And as you look across those lists, you're going to see themes. You're going to see... Um, you're going to see potential action. You're going to see something to work with. And I would love you to bring those things to a call with me so you can have a breakthrough session. And we can actually see how you bring someday into the power of now. So make those lists. Reach out to me in Messenger when you've got those lists. And let's let's bring those things into a call and start you, get, start you taking powerful action. And I hope that this has been help, helpful. Thank you for watching, Brendetta, David, and Joseph. Pleasure to see you and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.